All right, another example. A hiker hikes four miles on a heading of 160 degrees. How far east or west does he end up from his starting point? And how far north or south? Okay, again, let's draw a picture. Let's imagine north this way, and this is, of course, south, east, and west, the standard compass directions, and he's on a heading of 160 degrees. And the word heading here is important. Headings are measured clockwise from north. So if we go from north and we rotate around 160 degrees, that's going to put us in a direction about like this. 180 degrees would be due south. So this is 160 degrees, not quite as far as due south. Now I'm going to draw that a little bit smaller just to make some more room on my diagram. Okay, it's still the same angle though, 160 degrees. And I just want to write a 4 here because we're told he hikes 4 miles. So let's put 4 miles right there. So he starts here and ends up here 4 miles from where he started. And I'm going to draw in this and this and make a right triangle right there. Okay, that's a right angle. So this is how far south he, uh, he goes, and this distance is how far east he goes. And those are the two things we're looking for. So let's name those. I'll call this DS, and this one will be D, DE. DS for the distance south, and DE for the distance east. Okay, and again, a diagram helps. This problem is not hard if you can see this little triangle. And without a diagram, it's, it's, a, it's a whole lot harder. We can see that this angle right here must be 20 degrees because a full or, or a half rotation there would get us from north to south. That would be 180. So here we have 160. So just 20 more would get us to 180. So we know that that acute angle in the triangle has to be 20. So let's find the east distance. Find DE. Well, think about this angle. That's 20, de 20 degrees. I know that the sine of the 20 degree angle must be the opposite over the hypotenuse. And in this case, the opposite is DE and the hypotenuse is 4. So I can say sine of 20 degrees is equal to DE over 4 and that's 4 miles. So then I can just solve that for DE. Just rearrange it algebraically. The distance east is 4 miles times the sine of 20 degrees. And you do that on the calculator and it comes out to be 1.4 miles. That's one of our answers. And then we can find the distance south in, with, with, with the cosine function. I can say the cosine of 20 degrees. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So for this angle, that 20 degree angle, the cosine has to be ds over 4 miles. So let's write that. And then just rearrange that algebraically to solve for ds. ds will be 4 miles times the cosine of 20 degrees and on the calculator that comes out to be 3.8 miles. So he ends up 1.4 miles east of where he started and 3.8 miles south of where he started.